Gonna be going for Zeratul. Uh, Zeratul got reworked together with the rest of the cloak meta. So, well, let's see what he's all about. We can do cleave build. We can do blink build. We can do a lot of different things. Zeratul's base kit didn't change that much, but he did get Vorpal Blade at uh, baseline. And then he has Might of the Nerezim as a possible heroic, which gives him follow through, bonus auto attack damage on subsequent abilities as a passive. And you can rewind one of your basics. There's a lot of cool plays that you can make, and I'll show a few of them in the try mode really fast. He's quite a difficult uh, hero to play. Yeah, I think Globe Quest at one is good. Not sure if it's due to new lighting. You look more tired now. Yeah, it's the new lighting. It's nothing about my state of awakeness is different from before. Choose a talent. Okay, so choose a talent. We complete the quest, and then you go for whatever, basically. Let's say cleave. Choose a talent. Um, wormhole, might, mending, and let's talent. say void slash, okay? A talent. And I don't know how Twilight Fall works yet, but I'm not going to pick it yet. So you can do blink, blink, and then wormhole back to the original location, which is kind of cool if you want to do a long range poke, as I just disabled my allied hero Malfurion here. So you can be all the way from here and do blink, blink. And then like that. Let me turn off the cooldown so that it's really true, okay? So you do blink, blink, Q, W, and then blink back to where you were. And then you can be back with Vorpal Blade if you so choose. And because you have the reward for level 1 that reduces the cooldown of your blink by 1 second per auto attack, you can do that many times, such kind of things. So I'll show you again. You can blink, blink, Q, auto, W, auto, and then you blink out. You Vorpal Blade in. You attack two times, and then you can do that again. And then you can go back again again. So he's very flexible right now. But you don't have to do it that way. You can also come from a little bit closer and repeat another ability. Now, if you look at Singularity Spike, it deals 500 damage. And this one deals 439. So it's a little bit better against groups. So what you can do is you blink in, and then you do cleave, and then you do double singularity spike. And then you go out, and then you do a nice chunk of damage. Now if you want to see how that looks in terms of damage on the bot. Do about 2000 damage, you can go back in. Do a cleave, and then you blink away, and you blink. Yeah. And then of course you can do double cleave as well. I'll show it on the Merc Camp. That's kind of cool too. You can do that for a group. Now keep in mind that Might of the Nerezim is a 50% damage reset of an ability. That In theory that makes it the best on Blink. Because Blink doesn't deal damage. So Blink is the least mitigated ability that you can rewind. Also, after using ability, you have that follow through. So try to weave in as many auto attacks as possibly safe. Now, and also it's an untalented version of the ability. So whereas my base cleave has 40% additional damage over three seconds and even more damage and CDR if you hit multiple heroes, that is not the case. Can I make more dummies by the way? Does anyone know how you can add dummies? Maybe that's only on uh, the other maps. But yeah, uh, it's untalented. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot. There's a bunch of different builds. You can also go for psionic strength. So we're gonna just uh, reset the talents for a second here. Psionic strength, wormhole, might of the Nerezim, whatever it doesn't matter. Choose a talent. And then sentence to death, for instance. And then we don't take a level 20 yet. So you could do like... Um, now, every enemy hero that you hit with anything, either auto attack or spells, increases the damage dealt for a bit. 
and your level 16 offers more damage while singularity spike is attached so you want to open with your singularity spike and you're going to blink in you're going to use singularity spike and then you're going to use another singularity spike use your q and then finally go out you do 2281 damage i think it's a little bit more uh for three seconds i think it's a little bit more than the other combo Of course, I stayed for longer here, so that doesn't count. Rich always goes with the Master Warblade at 16. Okay, Choose well, I'll talent. just do the, the Rich Choose build then. Uh, let's also try Darkness Descent, because this is another build that you, could, uh, that you could go for, obviously. Choose Wormhole, Might of Denerazine, Mending Strikes, and Choose then Master Warblade, right? Choose so now you have Auto Attack Speed, Bonus Passive Damage, you've got Follow Through, healing from auto attacks and you have bonus from warplate so just to show what it looks like 276 276 622 that's pretty bonkers right so your goal is anytime to do three auto attacks against an enemy hero so uh we'll do that and you can also use darkness descents so when we go in we're going to use darkness descents and we're going to just use a bunch of abilities okay you can do quite a lot of damage. I didn't even use my ult yet, so let's try again, actually. It requires a bit of practice. I think this is the favorite build as well. I mean, obviously, I'm completely new to this, so none of this is in my muscle memory. I'm just try trying to do kind of a valid combo. 3080 is quite nice. So this is the build we'll probably try in quick match. So let's go. Without further ado. Uh, keep in mind that I did not yet choose a level 20. Uh, you can go Nexus Blades for bonus damage. 20% bonus damage. So you'll deal, deal even more. Or you could go for the heroic upgrade. Grub, I find myself sometimes getting indecisive in those big, confusing 5v5 team fights. Any tips? Here's my tip. First of all, make a set of rules for yourself how you should approach team fights. Do this while you're not playing. You can think a lot easier about these things while you're not in a the game. These rules should be easy to follow, rules of thumbs that may have exceptions, but that generally, if there are no exceptions, you follow them. So let's think about a rule. First rule, stay alive. The second rule is auto attack whatever you can, which is in range, safely. If two, if two targets are within equal range, attack the one that is most attractive to attack. Next, use your abilities on the right target. Make these kind of rules for yourself, up to five or ten. Combat. Then, watch a replay of yourself and apply the rules to yourself and try to see, do you follow them? Then, start another game, quick match or hero league, and try to follow at least two of those rules. And once you master those, move on to the next. And so on and so on. So, it's an analytical process of self-improvement that can be very helpful. Five, four... Uh, Bogdovan89, a user in my chat, one. says you should never go for psionic go strength because by the time you enemy. get full five stacks, you're already out of spells and it only works on heroes and not on force. Makes sense. I think it's a valid uh, argument. A gift. So I'm going to go with Shadowhunter and try to get my globes. I was waiting for him to get his stack so I don't kill the minion while he doesn't have his uh, thing on it yet. Fulfill. 
Nice, we're gonna get double globe from this wave. Nova keeps bullying top, so how about we bully the bully? Two globes for this wave as well. And now you can see why when you have lane dominance and you get double globe per wave, you can have infinite sustain and this is why games have the capability to be more snowballing. Until we get better anyway. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think these guys are a double Q. This kind of move is uh, quite funny because they're missing a minion wave top and mid. Because I died, obviously, but... Uh, talent. It's good, though, getting camps. It's fantastic, really. It's just, generally, you don't expect Rain or Karazin to do a camp together. But then this is a quick match, anyway. I didn't see if they are in a group. They might not be. I don't know. Might just be talking out of my buttocks. Uh, I will say this, Darkness Descends, together with Master Warblade, is probably my favorite build for Zeratul, even without trying all of them. Reason being, it's fantastic at siege damage. If you ever get your way with a fort... You're gonna do so much damage to it. I love Illidan and Answer, he's so badass. I'm gonna go top for level 7. I mean, bottom for level 7. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'll just stay. It's gonna be two globes. And we're 7. Oh, Mother Trucker, this guy dismounted me. I'm gonna go Wormhole. And quest complete. 15 globes in 4 minutes. Thank you, HOTS Nova's coming back for me. Lol. Hey, we lost the Punisher. What? Why did Raynor do that? He moved out of the gate to bait the stun onto himself while being in Gazlo turrets and stun. Lol. We're trying. Luckily, no gathering power. Well fought, heroes. We have slain the enemy's punisher. I will do yeah, Alex E is a dot. Don Cologne. Now he should stay here and uh, Hearthstone, and then throw more toads. Stay in the minion wave so you can't get sniped. Okay, he's smart. He's baiting in the snipe too.
true invisibility was gained. Choose a talent. Might of the Nerazim. An Undeen Rashagal. All too simple. Yeah. Hyperion. All the lasers. Oops. Let's just press all the random buttons. Bound minion. What's it called on this? 30 seconds. Not bad. I should do another wave. Bit of XP. If they can just pull back from there for a bit. I can't wait till I get mending strikes. Oh. Activate the shrine. Do not let our enemy claim the Punisher's power. Wow, people like throwing their alts around willy-nilly. Do you use an alt for double Q or double W for maximum damage? Against a group, double Q. 320 is Q. But against single, 365, you see? Though generally double Q should be better. The difference is only 35 damage. And Q hits multiple things. So unless you're really in a one-on-one, -on -one, no minion wave, you'll probably do double Q. She freaked out. Yeah, Rainer! My boy! No, no, no. That's a little too much. My boy, Jimmy. He's filling them full of daylight. Choose a talent. Mending strikes! Woohoo! I'm gonna help Karazim. The demons have summoned an arcane punisher. You must act. Dash Salon. I need to clear this. Fine work. Shadow. I told Karazim I'll take care of it, but he's staying here regardless. I don't know why they all fought inside the Punisher minus fort though. Oh, there's no need for that, Hanzo. Absolutely no need for that. Punisher has been brought low. Our 
Lot has been destroyed. Enemy slain. The void awaits you. So be it. Nice, huh? Fine work. I need to go for Zeratul. As was foreseen. Close, 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 close. We are done. I must retreat. I need to empower this wave. We need to get value out of our impalers. If there's nobody else here in particular. So I say we slay that one. <laughs> Once I have Master Warblade, <laughs> let's meet again, Osmo Dank. Small mistakes. I said need to go for Zeratul. Oh, I meant Gazlo. <laughs> Nani? The life sustain was actually pretty interesting. Once we get Master Warblade and maybe even Nexus Blades, a the amount of auto attack heal that we get is going to be through the roof which will make Zeratul great at duels though not per se in a bursty team fight not when he's taking a burst anyway good value on those impalers I'm not gonna humor that with a response yeah his last level 20 is pretty crazy Oh my god, this guy has got the ego eye. Vengeance shall be ours. Well, we got Nova, it's fine. It is time. Why don't you take the spell damage heal at 20? Yeah, I could do that. Nexus Blades will offer a tiny bit of extra healing. 20% over an auto attack damage of like 300. 60 bonus healing per auto. If not more. Yeah, about 60. Whereas this is like healing hundreds. It is really crazy. Shadow Mending. I don't understand how Twilight Falls works yet. Might have the Nerezim resets the cooldown of all bit. Okay, it's, so it just becomes rewind. I think I'll try to play without that. Oh, this looks like a really good fight for us. My boy Jimmy did fantastic here. I hope he gets the award. High team fight damage. My god, they won it again? Crazy. You have been slain. The sad thing is I already decided to put this on YouTube no matter what. Small throws. Did you guys see how many skeletons we had in that last engagement by the way? It's what it does now plus rewind. You can triple cleave. Ah, got it. And on a very short cooldown too. Yeah, I should have helped with the objective. Small mistakes. They won by four minions. Why did you go for the lane instead of objective? You know, there was a little bit of XP in the lane, but I would say in hindsight and in pre-sight, not worth. Did he go for the double generals? Yep. 
<laughs> this bastard. He didn't get general talents at, at 16, though. I will not falter. I will. Yeah, happy little accidents. I'll just get uh, Nexus Blades, okay? Nova was headed for me. There she is. I will fulfill my calling. Oh, she's angry at me. I will fulfill my calling. All too simple. Be undone. My two is auto attack speed. We must not hesitate. It's a big wave down there. Power I need to go get a strong. camp. One or two camps, bottom wave. Come on, dude. As was foreseen. No, I need to go. I can't get a camp. Go and claim the shrine. The general of hell spot too much time. And if he does it again, and he did, we're gonna lose a keep to it, by the way. So we need to win this objective decisively. I have to get my own edge hat on. Yes. Now we need to. Oh no, 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 no. Kill her. Kill her. Yes. <laughs> Don't you die to minions and turrets. Come on. Man up, dude. Osmo's going to throw something. I knew we were going to lose this keep. I knew that was going to be the price. That was always going to happen. At least we got the Punisher. The Karazim that walks into Gaslow turret though. <laughs> Pokeshamp. Fort destroyed. 
Uh, big minion wave. Our uh, catapults with bound minion are gonna be so painful. I hope this Punisher kills a hero. In fact, I'm gonna go out and say it probably will. Who's gonna be it? Thrall? the globe dude do you hate me or what has fallen before the demons forces I could have killed him there I was bad lol Oh yeah, there's two sides. I forgot. Glory to the firstborn. Took you long enough. Dub ouch. <laughs> Dub ouch. Oh no, Asma! Run! Rainer, are you crazy? Why is everyone walking through turrets and demon warriors? Like they don't exist. Just take what you have and run. <laughs> you never use your R? I use my R. I use my R. It doesn't have a big health bar, so it doesn't exist. Plus, it doesn't count towards your takedowns to kill them, right? <laughs> I'm afraid Osmo is going to kill our uh, keep at some point. Says the dead man. I know, right? I'm sure they have stories to tell about myself as well. So many stories. It's like, why did that guy... Da -da -da -da? A shrine gathers what 20 did you get? I went for Nexus Blades, which is a noob talent, but... You know, big damage, always fun. I say we slay that one next. <laughs> The shrine is ready. Go and claim the Punisher's power for the high heavens. Oops. <laughs> My wormhole was gone. I'm a true quick matcher. Nah. A most inopportune time to die as well, might I add. Kill him! Just kill him! They just let him get away with it. Am I the only one playing perfectly here? Our foe has summoned a mortar punisher. You had a quick match, Grubby. I went Nexus Blade. Keep lost. Vengeance shall be ours. 
Right, it was a distraction. Just to uh, avert the apocalypse, you know. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Blast him. Scorch the earth. Go. Cast your ult before you die. Ar! 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 If only we had some air support here. We could have still won. Yeah, it was a pretty good quick match game, you know, level 24 each, lots of XP, fun whether you win or you lose. MVP. I'm ready for my final placement game, 10th placement game of the day. Hope you uh, learned some zero tool tricks, Asanu. Learned what to do, what not to do. It's my pleasure. Oh! <gasps> no! Too soon. Okay, that got a little too high. Brilliant. Don't move. I believe. Double kill. <laughs>